So we'll close this one out. That. Let's see. Let's go to this one called the Archangel or the Anubis clip point. This knife took me totally 15 minutes to build. Let's not do that one. Well, we'll do that one. I like that one too. I made a shorter version. Well, I'm going to start with a shorter version. Through that we'll go down here to the Archangel clip point. Okay, this is a 10 inch long knife with um, each one of these dots here is actually half an inch. So it's a 10 inch long knife and it's going to be a paracord wrapped handle, so that's just going to stay bare. So this knife is ready to cut exactly like that. Let me get in here closer. This knife pattern I could send to the water jet right now and it would cut it out of 1095, 440C, A2, whatever you wanted to cut it out of, it would cut it out of. Check out that jimping, how sharp that is. I was <clears throat> going to make this knife for my son-in-law and I was thinking, man, that jimping, I'm going to have to, you know, hand file each one of those and try to keep them straight and try to keep them the right depth and then get in there somehow and finish that out you know, the file marks and whatever. So it's going to take a lot of work. This whole knife blank, including the jimping, the hole in the handle, all will take less than four minutes on the water jet, and it will come out perfect. How amazing is that? And be uh, like seven dollars for the water jet fee. And then all I would need to do is take it to my grinder and put on whatever primary bevel and secondary edges that I wanted to put onto it and uh, you know do the heat treating I'll do the heat treating on it and then uh, etch my logo and I'm going to put uh, graphite black Cerakote H on this which is the high temperature Cerakote so I'm going to put that on once I get it all done, so it'll be black, flat black with uh, either an olive drab or a black and orange or some sort of paracord wrap on the handle. Then make a kydex sheet for it. So I drew this thing out here. It totally took like only 15 minutes. Really easy to do. I'll uh, I can show some of that in another video. And then what I wanted to do is add two inches to it so I and, and make the Archangel out of it oh this is the Archangel I wanted to make the Anubis which is the two inch the 12 inch the BK 12 Anubis let's get in here a little bit closer <coughs> and so all I had to do was select these two and I'm sure that I went about it completely the wrong way if I was a professional and I slid these out like that and I deleted these two lines from the Archangel after I, well I measured them first I went over here and I measured them oops I was not measuring there's a feature over here called smart dimension so I went over here and measured those and then added uh, two more inches to them let's escape that and did the same thing on the bottom so I just lengthened those two lines out two inches and then I went out here and picked up the tip I need to have a tripod with me, don't I? I picked up the tip, hit e-snap, and brought the tip back. Boop. And there it was. The knife is suddenly two inches longer. You have a completely different model knife. Two inches longer. I didn't have to redraw the whole thing like I would on paper. 
Uh, I didn't have to fool with all this stuff here. That's already there. I mean, this program, I don't know. Kicking myself for why I haven't tried to learn it sooner. Because it's not that difficult. Uh, I'm going to close that. I don't need to save anything there. Anything else to see? Twelve inch Bushmaster. Oh, we started out on that one, didn't we?